Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I was actually just playing with some papers from Tonic Studios and I thought I'm going to share these paper collections with you because um, I've not done a flip through of these and these are from Tonic Studios and they are beautiful. So Tonic Studios every now and then they come out with um, a really gorgeous 12 by 12 paper collection. So this one came out, I'm going to say, um, probably a couple of months ago and I have used it on some of my um, design team projects um, and they are absolutely gorgeous and then this is the newer one so we've got the mulberry wine and you can see the colorways in this one and I'm going to flip through this in a second and then the newest one is the dusky rose which is beautiful muted colors really gorgeous to look at so I'm going to go through this one first with you and then we'll have a look at the dusky rose in a second so the mulberry wine, as you can see, gorgeous, beautiful, deep pinks and maroons with a hint of the mint greens and some um, purple tones. Really, really beautiful to look at. And um, you get 18 sheets per pack and they're 200 GSM cardstock sheets. So really, really nice quality for your projects. They are acid free and they are absolutely beautiful. I'm going to show a die set that also Tonic Studios do that goes perfectly with any paper collection they do. So on the back of this one, in fact I'm going to show you the die set now because this is what it's about. Um, the front, back of the front cover you're going to see these tag shapes and Tonic have this beautiful moments tag sentiment die set and the tags go perfectly onto these um, illustrated tags here so it's a beautiful beautiful way of creating tags with this die set so if you're going to go for your paper pads or your paper collection should i say from tonic i would definitely grab one of these because you're going to use these tags on your tags here so that is the back of the front then you've got this sheet beautiful florals and you can definitely pussy cut them and then that is the reverse which is really pretty as well and it's just a busier busier design to the one behind it then there's this one which is a beautiful florals again some larger florals this time and then the reverse almost looks like it's vellum but it's not it's like a faded design really beautiful and it's the fade design of course at the front here you have like the framed florals with the slight stripes going across and then the back you've got the small ditzy flowers with the leaves then onto this one which is the maroon back with the pinky flowers whereas these ones I'll just show you is the green with the pink and this is pink on pink and then the back of that one is beautiful large flowers again with the pink backing so this beautiful design again repeated but with the pink background I want to say pink is more like a mauve than a pink and then the faded design on the back which looks really really beautiful and then the same design as the green with the faint stripes and the floral framing the 12 by 12 and that's the reverse of that one beautiful and then we've got this one which is more of a purplier color i'm just going to try to compare them so you can see the difference in the colors one sec so you can see the difference in the colors so this is definitely more purple and this is definitely more like a deep pink so really really nice shades and they look really nice together and then same design again with the purple in the background I love this this looks so beautiful and then the faded design on the back and then the frame design again with the purple background and the stripes in the center and that's the back okay and then they're repeated again so this is the beautiful mulberry wine and this is the color combination of your papers in here so let's go on to the dusky rose so here is the beautiful dusky rose again you get 18 sheets of luxury 200 gsm cardstock two of 
two each of nine double sided designs so this one is definitely more if you're into your shabby chic um projects because the colors are just so beautiful they're so vintage and muted and really really nice it's definitely a color palette that i tend to go for more often than not um on the back of your front piece you get the tags again and they are beautiful this green is so nice it's like a gray green and then you've got your pinks and your um i would say mink and creams really really nice okay then the most prominent is the three colors so you, i'm going to just actually fan them out a bit so you can see so you get the cream base pink base and the green base okay and then the designs will repeat in each colorway so this one has these beautiful florals really, really nice got this is a very vintage feel about this one and then the reverse of this one is like a smaller print really really gorgeous then you've got this more busier floral with larger flowers with a cream background and this is the reverse of that one which is larger than this one and then this one which has like the smaller flowers in the bigger clusters and the reverse of that one is a much busier floral print really really stunning then you've got the pink base with the cream flowers really gorgeous again and this time the flowers actually pop a bit more because they're on a darker background and then there's the smaller print here's the larger this would look really nice for to cut out if you've got the time i think i'm going to do that and make a card with this and then here is the reverse then this one and that's the reverse of that beautiful beautiful then the greens and creams with hints of pink really beautiful again like I said it's the same designs but the base changes okay and that gorgeous large cluster with the flowers that's the reverse of that one that's that beautiful one there and then with the busy floral print at the back these little cream sprays they actually look gold they're not it is cream it's really cleverly done really really nice and then we're repeating again so really beautiful dusky rose collection there so if you're interested in these paper collections they are available from tonic studios and i think they're only available from tonic studios if i'm not mistaken and um, but they are beautiful gorgeous and they're acid and lignin free and because they're not glossy you can add like your stamp text on them and you can play around with them and do what you like but if you are going to be um using dies with these especially the tag dies that are on the reverse of the front cover i would highly highly recommend grab yourself um this die set which is beautiful moments tag sentiment die set and there's six dies within this and these are the dies you get okay so i thought i'd share those with you today i hope you enjoyed this nice and quick video and i will see you all very soon take care bye